Man, he was kind of all, he was, whoops, I don't know what that was. He was kind of all over the place. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but a long time ago, we did a video showing where when you launch your DJI Mini 2 drone from the landing pad, it doesn't matter what your toggle switch on your controller says, you were launching in normal mode. Well then, we did a follow-up video on that because it seemed like they had done away with that. And well, they actually did do away with that. So we demonstrated again with the DJI Mini 2 that when you launched and lifted off, that all of a sudden, magically, you were in whatever mode your toggle switch said. Well now, surprise, uh, it's back. <laughs> Well, at least in part, anyway. I was out at this spot playing with the drone the other day. Some crazy lady drove by me and started blowing her horn and yelling at us. Anyway, that was Christy, by the way. Well, I was out there flying around and I realized that I was in normal mode when I thought that I was in cine mode. So I figured I wanted to go back and test that part out to see if, again, we've contradicted ourselves. <laughs> or to see if DJI has uh, brought back a safety feature that I think is actually pretty important. I kind of think I said last time when it was gone that it, I was glad that it was gone. So maybe I'm a little wishy-washy, <laughs> who knows? Well, anyway, that's what today's test is. We're gonna go out to this area. We're gonna see if they brought back that feature or if I was just daydreaming. They didn't wave. I waved at him, but he didn't wave at me. There may be somebody here. Oh, no, there's nobody here. But there is another car coming. Let's see if they're gonna wave. Nothing. Not even the passenger. All right, guys, well, we're here, and it's empty. We'll fly Rose first. She's the Mini 2 with the 1.12.8 flyout version. Then we'll fly Dwight. He's the Mini 4 Pro with the 1.12.8 flyout version. And if we have time, we'll fly Jack, who's the 1.4.8 flyout version. Let's get started, guys. All right, let me go get Rose. Landing pad. Well, one cool thing about today is that the wind has died down, so we don't have that to contend with. I don't have anything turned on yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this controller set in sport mode. And I'm going to turn everything on, and then we're going to launch and see what mode we're actually in. While I'm waiting for all this stuff to get set up and for her to get her satellites, we all know that the normal speed for the DJI Mini 2, the maximum speed is like 22 miles an hour, and sport mode is in the 30s. So if we lift off and we're able to immediately get up to 30-something miles an hour, we know that we're in sport mode. Well, right now I'm looking at the screen, and it shows that the Mini 2 is in sport mode, even though we don't have our satellites yet. But you can tell, look at the... I've got it in sport mode on the controller and it's showing sport mode on the on the screen here So I'll be anxious to see if it is in sport mode or if it's a normal mode Let me get her out on the truck on the back of the truck so she can get her satellites. So we've got four satellites. You think that's enough? <laughs> Rose says no Okie dokie home point updated 16 satellites. All right, it looks like we're not gonna get more than 17 satellites So let's get Rose up in the air here. Let me pinch her sticks together Take off. Raise her up real quick Updated. She's drifting just a hair, but it looks like she's okay. Let me go left and right here. I always like to do this to make sure that she's responding to my controls. And it looks like she is. All right, well, let's get her up in the air. It says that she's in sport mode. So let's get her up in the air here, and we're just going to fly straight forward. And if she goes more than 22 miles an hour, we know that she's going to be in sport mode. But I don't think she is. <laughs> I think she's in normal mode. All right, here we go. You ready? And we're going straight to the left. <laughs> her IMU is off again. Every time I fly her, it seems like I got to do an IMU calibration. Well, she's only going 22 miles an hour, so she is. There is no way she's in sport mode right now. She's got to be only in in normal mode. All right, let me get back and land her, and then we're gonna toggle her switch over and see if she goes uh, into the other modes. Good girl. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so we got Rose landed. Well, let me get back in the truck and look at the camera. <laughs> I don't know why I started talking off camera. That was weird. <laughs> All right, so we got Rose landed. I'm going to go back to normal mode in the toggle switch, and I'm going to flip it back over to sport mode and see if it uh, reverts back to normal mode or if it stays in sport mode. Get her started. Take off. Get her up in the air here. I think she's in sport mode. Look how fast she's going up in the air. All right, let's pull the gimbal down. Whoa, yeah, she's definitely in sport mode now. Let's take off, and we're probably going to get that warning that the gimbal is uh, different because it's in sport mode. But yeah, she's going 33 miles an hour, so she is officially in sport mode now. Well, let's get her home, and we'll move on to Dwight. All right, I got Dwight here. I'm going to keep this 
toggle switch over to sport mode. I'm going to turn everything on here, and then we're going to launch with him, and we're going to see what he does. Maybe he goes into sport mode, or maybe he just continues to stay in normal mode like Rose did. I like his noises. There's a fly. Screen recording. Okay, so right off the bat, I've noticed a difference here. I've got the toggle switch in sport mode on the thing here, on the controller, but up in the upper left-hand corner, it's showing that it's in normal mode. Now, I do remember uh, from all the launches that I've done with, with uh, Dwight here that whenever I lift him up in the air, there's a message that says something about normal mode. I've never really read it. I've always just clicked on it, whatever, okay. So maybe I need to read that and see if that's what it's talking about. I guess maybe the screen overrides the toggle switch. So let's get Dwight out on the back of the truck so he can get his satellites. I think the top speed for normal mode in Dwight is like 25 miles an hour, and sport mode is up in the 30s. So if he goes up and he takes off into the 30s, then we know he's in sport mode. Come on, Dwight, hurry up. Home point updated. Hey, home point updated. All right, so we got 20 satellites with Dwight. Let's get him started by pinching the sticks. We're going to get that message that says normal mode recommended. So I'm assuming that that's what that is. So I will hit normal mode recommended, push the sticks again, and we'll get him started. Take off. So we're going to raise him up to 21 meter, or 21 feet, 22 feet-ish. Why is he turning? Why is he turning like that? That's weird. He's still turning. <laughs> I'm not turning him. I have my fingers off the sticks. Why did he do that? Let me, let me look at him and make sure that he's okay. Why are you so crooked there, buddy? I was just raising him up in the air and he was turning to the left. I wonder if I need to do a stick calibration. All right, so we've got him up in the air. We're in normal mode on the screen, but we're in sport mode on the toggle switch. Identifying subject, I must have hit something. <laughs> Let's fly forward here and see if he's in normal or sport mode. So his speed is 22 miles an hour. So I would say that that's totally in normal mode. There's no way that he's in uh, sport mode right now. Let's get him turned around and come back to the truck here. And we're gonna switch everything over to sport mode. Why are you going over there? It's like you're lopsided, man. What's up? All right, go ahead and land for us. <laughs> All right, good job. Well, now that we've got him landed, let's take the toggle switch and move it over to normal. And then we'll move it back over to sport. And sure enough, that changed the setting up in the upper left-hand corner to sport. So now the toggle switch says sport and the uh, uh, DJI fly app says sport. All right, so let's go ahead and get him started again. Let me get him raised up in the air a little bit. And I feel like he's definitely in sport mode because he raised up really fast. <laughs> he's not doing his left turn there, though, like he did, did when I first lifted him up. Let's see how fast he can go. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going faster than he was in normal mode. So he is in sport mode at the moment, going 33 and a half miles an hour, 34. So he is in sport mode. That's good. Well, let's get him back to the truck. I think we have time for one more flight with Jack and we'll see what he can do. He's flying all over the place. It's not that windy, buddy. Do I need to do an INU calibration with you? <laughs> all right, let's go get Jack for one more flight and we'll call this test a wrap. I'm telling you what, Jack has had a long nap. <laughs> he hasn't been out in quite a while. Okay, so just to show you on here, before I get anything started up, I've got this controller also set to sport. So let's get everything started up. Okay, we've only got 48% with Jack. So if you look again, I've got the controller on sport and up in the upper left-hand corner, it does say sport mode, just like Rose did. Let me click on the three tabs here and show you. So we've got on the very bottom, it says flat version 1.4.8 and we're flying with Jack. Let me get him out on the back of the truck and get his satellites and that way we can get him up in the air pretty quick. So Jack has how many? 12 satellites, moderately weak signal. He's got He's in sport mode on the screen. He's in sport mode on the controller. The home point's been updated. I don't know if you guys heard that or not because it was really quiet and I was talking. But we've got 16 satellites. I think we had 17 with Rose. So maybe if we wait for 17 satellites, it'll be fair. Ah, forget it. We'll just get him started. <laughs> He's ready to wake up. Okay, so let's get him up in the air. There he is. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Looks like he's hovering really, really good. Let me go to the left and to the right. He's responding to the sticks. Even after his long nap, he's still doing a good job. Top speed in normal mode is 22. Top speed in sport mode is in the 30s. So this is gonna tell all whether the 1.4.8 flat version was affected also, or if it maybe has been something to do with some sort of firmware update. So here we go, we're off to the races and he's flying to the left, just like Rose did. But his top speed is 20. 
So I really don't think he's in sport mode. <laughs> that answers the question, guys. They brought it back somehow, even with the older flyout version. I don't know how they did it, but they did. Let's get him back to the truck. And we'll take off again and we'll swap everything over to sport mode and see if he can take see if he can fly in sport mode at that point. Look at how easy he is to control. <laughs> Dwight, man, I need to get your your numbers straight. Is it windier than it looks? Because <laughs> you guys are all being blown around. It's good to see you flying, buddy. All right, one more time. We're going to swap this over to normal mode. I saw it go to the normal mode in the upper left-hand corner, back to sport mode, and see if we can take off in sport mode. All right, Jack, you ready? There you go. Where'd you go? There he is. All right, I think he is in sport mode because, wow, he lifted up pretty quick. Let's go straight up. Oh, yeah, he's in sport mode. Look how fast. 11 miles an hour is not very fast, Kevin. <laughs> oh, look, yeah, look how fast that is. He's definitely in sport mode. Yep. His speed's going to be, what, 35, give or take? Yeah, he's at 33, 34 miles an hour. So he is definitely in sport mode. And we've now got the answer to our question, if you had the question. I know I did. Let's get him home. I do think it's windier than what the maps are saying. Hey, we got Jack back. All right, let's get everything put away and we'll talk about what we learned today. I think DJI brought the safety feature back because the DJI Mini 4 Pro that we've got here, Dwight, his obstacle avoidance sensors are disabled whenever he's in sport mode. So if I'm flying around in sport mode, which I very rarely do, but if I'm flying around in sport mode and I turn everything off and I forget to toggle it back to normal, the next time that I turn it on, I would essentially be in sport mode and guess what? My sensors would be off. So they fixed that. And so the next time that I turn the drone on, it'll revert back to normal mode and guess what? My sensors are back. One thing that I did notice that was different, and I think I pointed this out during the flight, was that on the Mini 2, it, it showed a different display on the uh, DJI Fly app. It showed that it was in sport mode and on the toggle switch, it was in sport mode. On the Mini 4 Pro, it showed normal mode on the screen, and on the toggle switch, it showed sport. My question is, or I guess I got a favor to ask anybody that's got a Mini 3 Pro or anybody that flies the 4 Pro with the RCN2 uh, controller, does the screen do the same thing, or is it just specific to the Mini 4 Pro? Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless. Idiot.